this is probably the most wild story I've read about Padres Petco Park in a long time. There's something going on. There's been something going on at Petco Park that is inexcusable. And it is a fake charity taking money from another charity, essentially, is what is happening here. So this is from the Voice of San Diego. Great job, by the way, from Will Huntsbury. He wrote this piece, came out earlier in the week. Many Padres fans don't even realize when they buy a $10 hot dog uh, that roughly 10% of the take at many stands is supposed to be donated to charity. This is not something that I knew. And this was a, a cool thing that I read. It's like, okay, that's cool. So some money that we're giving to these stands, it's not going to like the Padres only. Some of it's going to charity. That's pretty darn cool, huh? I would think the Padres would want to promote that a little bit more because that's a good thing. Charities staff those concession stands at Petco Park. And in return, they get to keep anywhere from 9 to 12% of the proceeds for, for their charity. So, you know, 10%, 9 to 12%, whatever, in that range. So it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. You know, the charities, the volunteers, they go work there. And in return, those charities, they get some of the money. And it's a lot of money. Like 10%, that's a lot of money, as you will see here. That's 300 300,000 over 300,000. 370 plus thousand dollars from January to like the middle or through the first like couple months of the Padre season that a charity can bring in that this fake charity brought in. A group called Chula Vista Fast Pitch operates more stands in the ballpark than any other charity, netting it potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars each year according to documents obtained by Voice of San Diego. The only problem is Chula Vista Fast Pitch does not exist. Chula Vista Fast Pitch, it shut down in 2014, according to tax and business filing. There's no website. There's no permits to use fields in Chula Vista. It doesn't exist anymore. And the people that were running that, did they had no idea that this name was still being used especially still being used in this manner. It was fast pitch, and the group, it, I guess it was giving some people an opportunity to play. It was a charity thing. It was a great thing, and now it's turned into this, which is very, it has to be super frustrating for those people that were involved in that and put some effort, obviously, in that. People familiar with the softball world, including the former founders of Chula Vista Fast Pitch, say no one is using that name currently for softball purposes. So it's there's a lot of questions, obviously, that just from reading this, and I haven't even got to all of it, but just from reading this, it's like, how do these people know what Chula Vista Fast Pitch was? Were they involved in it? And then when these people stopped it, they just decided to go use the name at Petco Park? and all that, and decided to say, hey, charity, here's the charity. We're going to use this. Chula Vista Fast Pitch has been operating in Petco Park for the last nine years. Multiple people familiar with the operation said it was an open secret that the charity doesn't really exist. An open secret. How is that even possible? An open secret? So it's an open secret. So does that mean people in the charity, people that were working those booths, uh, people that were working those ballpark stands, they knew that it wasn't a real charity and they were okay with that as long as they were getting their money. Is it other booths in baseball at, at the Padres game, I mean? Other spots that aren't like ballpark eat spots, but other charities that work at Petco, staff some of these spots at Petco, they knew about it and just didn't tell anyone? Because this is definitely something that should have came out earlier than this nine years they've been doing this who oversees these groups it's not petco it's not the padres it's delaware north a company involved in food venue and hotel management all over the world delaware north requires the nonprofits to submit paperwork on a semi-regular basis to verify charitable status which that's another question what's semi-regular basis and what are they submitting what's this paperwork that is 
proving to Delaware North that yes, this charity still exists. It's actually a charity. It's not a fake charity that isn't run anymore. Yep, this is totally legit. What is that paperwork? And Jackson Wyatt, who formed Chula Vista Fast Pitch, again, with his wife, was uh, pretty stunned. Wow. Okay, was his response. Had no idea that someone was still using this name. It seems so dumb that no one at Petco Park would notice, Wyatt says. Every softball team in all the leagues know each other. It seems very silly that's the name someone's going to come up with because right away it's obvious that it doesn't exist. Again, that's, it's like, how would no one at Petco Park notice this? If this was, a, oh, obviously people did and they just didn't say anything, which is obviously even worse. It's an open secret. Chula Vista Fast Pitch runs an average of 12 stands per night at Petco, according to Delaware North officials. Ballpark Eat stands, the Michelada stand, the Mr. Safi, the ice cream stand. Someone, if you have dropped some money down there at those stands, spent some money, I mean, obviously, at those stands, to get a hot dog or some nachos or some peanuts, you might be just have given money to this fake charity. And I'm sure there's a lot of Padre fans. Over nine years, you've been to a lot of Padres games and probably have spent a lot of money on this. And so, yeah, I think Padre fans are going to be pissed off that it's like, oh, I probably gave some of my money to a fake charity. And where is this money going? Who is running this? Which kind of got answered a little bit in this article. Um, $3.7 million in net sales between January 1st and June 5th, according to receipts San Voice of San Diego obtained. That only includes the first two months of the baseball season. And these charities in the, the Delaware North program, they staff the stands during concerts and other events. So that's how they also make money. 10% of $3.7 million over th is $370,000. Over $370,000 Chula Fista Fast Pitch has been able to bring in, and this charity doesn't even exist. That's $370,000 that could actually go to a, a good charity, a, a, a actual charity that exists, that could make kids' lives or make it easier on parents. I don't know. Just go to an actual good cause. So yeah, this kind of pisses me off, for sure. And I'm not even like close to the situation, uh, but it's like, how, how can this happen? Delaware North officials declined to answer questions about how they verify whether a charity is real or not. After receiving an, invo an email from Voice, they did say they plan to look into the matter. We're actively looking into the recent information presented to us regarding the status of Chula Vista Fast Pitch and will determine our course of action after our review is complete. Craig Huner, who I have been in contact with, not recently, but a couple times over email, um, he is the like head Padres spokesperson with Padres PR, I believe. He wrote in an email here to the Voice of San Diego, the Padres do not have operational oversight of Delaware North's nonprofit program. Uh, Delaware North is solely responsible for the staffing of their concession stands at Petco Park. Huner then confirmed Padres are... Following up with Delaware North on Chula Vista Fast Pitch's role at the stadium. So the Padres had no idea about this. And at least that's what they say. And then they're blaming it all on Delaware North. Delaware North is solely responsible for the staffing of their concession stands. Okay, that might be true. But I'm sorry. Fans that are spending money at the ballpark eats and these other stands that Chula Vista Fast Pitch staffs and is benefiting from. They go to see the Padres. They go to see your organization. So I'm sorry, that statement right there, that's not good enough. Just to say we don't have operational oversight and just putting it all on Delaware North. I'm sorry, if I was Peter Seidler, if I was Eric Grubner, if I was part of that organization that has anything to do with, okay, yeah, Delaware North is, like they know that Delaware North, they're in contact with Delaware North. I assume... People with the Padres are in contact with someone at Delaware North at some point each season, right? I think Delaware North just signed an extension with Petco Park. I think I saw that in the offseason. Could be wrong, but I think I, that was recently. 
I would know every charity that is involved with something in Petco Park. If I was the owner of this team, I would want to know that those are actual charities. Because Peter Seidler, how does Peter Seidler feel about this? Because he does really good work with some homeless organizations, you know, and really cares about that. So I assume he's a charitable person. And Ron Fowler, even before that, I think he was a little bit of a charitable person, right? And there's the Fowler Park at USD, right? I think he has his name on something at San Diego State as well. Like, I would care, right, about uh, charities that are coming into Petco Park. So, yes, this falls on Delaware North, but this also should fall on the Padres, too. Like, you, d you, d you don't do background work on the charities. And again, not to point specific blame on the Padres or Delaware North. Like, at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters. Like, it does matter a little bit, but, like, we know Padres and Delaware North, right? Inside Petco Park, and they're involved here. But what I care about most, my big question is, how did this get by for nine years? Semi-regular checks. So when is that? What's semi-regular? Is that once a year? Is that once every two years? Once every three years? Once every four years? Are you just saying that? And once they're in, you don't actually check them anymore? You're just saying semi-regular to save some face? Like, how did Chula Vista Fast Pitch get through this for nine years? That just doesn't make sense to me. The only way it would make sense is like if someone at Delaware North is like, like there's like a handshake thing where I, I don't know, somewhere at Del Delaware North knows these people at Chula Vista Fast Pitch, this fake charity, and it's like, yeah, I'll do you a solid. It doesn't exist, but I'll let you keep staffing people here at Petco Park and make over $300,000 in the first half of 2023. Yeah, I'll let you do that. It's just crazy. And uh, so, yeah, continuing to scroll through this article here, Noli Yarde and Martin Raboyo, I think, these are the two names mentioned here. Multiple sources who asked to remain anonymous pointed us to two men, these two men about running Chula Vista fast pitch. Who is operating these stands? Are these people, these two people hiring people to work there? Is it Delaware North hiring people to just work a ballpark eat stand, and then these people go into those stands and kind of oversee these people? Like, how is this happening? And Raboyo says, I helped them. I helped them out. Raboyo, Raboyo, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Martin says, I helped them out when talking about Chula Vista fast pitch. Who's the main person, Raboyo, Raboyo asks. And he gave Martin's name, I believe. Martin, who did I say? Martin, Martin, no, no, no. Noli, Noli Yarde. And Voice of San Diego, the author here, he went to Petco Park. Section 116. So I'm sure, I'm sure some Padres fans that have watched this, that, have, that are listening to this, they have been at the 116 ballpark eat stand. So maybe you have interacted with this dude before. Or you've given money to the stand, one of the stands that he has operated. And so this Voice of San Diego writer went to Petco Park and asked about this to this guy at 116 in Ballpark Eats. And Yarde acknowledged he is the manager of Chula Vista Fast Pitch. But then he walked away. He disappeared into the back of the Ballpark Eats stand. So obviously something's going on here. You have an acknowledgement right there. So there you go. There's someone that's definitely involved. He is the manager or a manager of this. So he is definitely at fault here. And by the way, he has already been kicked out. Chula Vista Fast Pitch, I believe, has been kicked out of Petco Park. I heard Darren Smith earlier on the radio say that. And th this was also happening at Snapdragon Stadium as well. So that's another thing where Snapdragon Stadium is always already kicked out this group, this, this fake charity. They kicked them out 
before San Diego State, I believe, had their first football game, the 23rd. But they, I believe, were still working like wave events, the soccer matches that had big attendance over the summer, concerts. So they've been doing it at Snapdragon. They've been doing it at Petco. And it took this long for this to be recognized. It, it's, it's, it's just, it's like, how could this happen? And again, I, I point to the Padres. It's like, this is in your ballpark. People come to watch your organization. You should know about the charities that are involved that are working inside your building. And to, to yeah, it's all, it's all Delaware North. It's all Delaware North. I think you should probably do a little bit better than that. I wonder if fans, are fans going to get 10% off at the ballpark eats now for the rest of the season or for the next nine years because 10% was being given to these fake charities, this fake charity for such a long time? By the way, Jackson Wyatt, who obviously the, the original founder, I guess he said, okay, he said, I don't remember reading this the first time around, said Raborio did have a loose connection to the original Chula Vista fast pitch. He said Raborio's brother was a coach for one of the teams. So there's the connection there. Maybe the brother gave this to Raborio. was like, okay, j- just use this name. Here's the name. You want to come up with a fake charity name? Here you go. This charity stopped. And you can, you can go in there like, well, it's still running. It's still a charity. Look, look at these things, these events that recently happened with Chula Vista Fast Pitch, even though it just closed. So that's probably how they got in. And maybe Delaware North just doesn't check them anymore because they've been there for so long. I don't know. What are semi-regular checks? That's a, that's a question I have. It is, so Chula Vista Fast Pitch staffed this. So again, it's not. So the, who are these workers that are being staffed? They know that it's a fake charity and they're like, yeah, just give me the money. I don't care. That would suck too. I would hate for the legacy to be this because it was a cool league and helped a lot of kids get started that someone would turn around and use it for illicit purposes. You know, nothing surprises me anymore. Yeah. So yeah, they were doing it at Snapdragon. So we'll see what the, what the, is there going to be a big penalty other than them just being kicked out? Because what, is it going to go to like court or something? Like what's going to happen here? Because that's hundreds of thousands, probably over a million dollars, right? Nine years of this. And it was over $300,000, well over a million dollars, probably total that they've been able to get from Padres games. Unbelievable. And a spokesperson for San Diego State, because obviously they, that Snapdragon, San Diego State, it's their stadium. As part of the verification process, Chula Vista Fast Pitch signed a contract attesting to their current nonprofit status. They were unable to verify, essentially, uh, is what San Diego State has said. They've been able to, uh, or unable to verify that they're like actually, you know, nonprofit charity, nonprofit status. So as of Friday, August 25th, so before San Diego State's foot first football game, Chula Vista Fast Pitch is no longer permitted at Snapdragon Stadium and is no longer permitted, hopefully, at Petco Park. And should Padre fans get a discount here because of the money that they have sent to something that's not a charity? It just all sucks. It sucks. All of this. Fake charity. So all of the wacky quotes, all the wacky things from this season, Add this to the list. 